Hello guys, welcome back. Just uh, caught me uh, cleaning up the chickens. There we go, so I threw the broom inside the chicken coop. So it seems like we've got a bit of... Uh, quite a few eggs in here to sell. Just gotta find where our lorry is and we sell them. Let's check the prices as well in a second. Let's finish cleaning them up. <coughs> That's the cleaning done. So eggs five seven five seven five seven and the price is decreasing so we're gonna sell it at the bakery because it's closer and the price is still uh, good. So let's run over to the lorry. Egg trailer. All the other machines are working along, so we don't need to be checking on them because I think they know what they do. Okay, so hopefully the eggs will give us enough money to buy our new tractor. Not expecting a full trailer. So let's see how it goes. <coughs> Why me? Talking about that, may get a full trailer. Oh yeah, we're gonna get a full trailer. No. There's not many eggs on this one. 93% oh well underestimated that so let's go and get it sold and I decided already which tractor we're gonna get anyway so we are gonna go for the 7R if we do get enough money for it if not, we're just going to wait until next time. Because it's got the extra 52 brake horsepower, I think it is, than the, than the 6R. And sometimes that little bit of extra power, it makes a lot of a difference. Uh, yeah, I think we've got enough money for it. We've got to have another f f other things into account, like the money we're paying for the seeds at the moment, the money we pay for the workers. So let's not get ahead of ourselves when it comes to going and getting a new tractor. Let's see how the other machines are doing. This guy is about halfway through that field. Not yet halfway. But this is uh, relatively small machines. It's only 15 meter wide. And it's going to 5 miles an hour. What's the speed on that? Spreader. Seven miles an hour. guys we got ourselves a new tractor let's go and pick him up 
There is our new 7R, a 7310 with 352 brake horsepower, and he's going straight into field number two to replace the 4 series. So the 4592, 4692, I'm not sure which one it is. So that is going to go straight away. Because uh, we need the power. For some reason that tractor is pulling that tank. Spread the tank uh, really slow. Don't know why. So we just go straight across here. And meet him down the road. Meet him down there on the field. He's probably turned around by now. He's coming back up. Shame the mothers don't get um, floating wheels for this for the 7R or the 6R as they do for the 8R because they could do with something like that. Where's the tractor? Just wait here for him. Okay, let's swap them over. Steering on this is so, so, so small. Okay, let's. Actually, the, <laughs> the other one looks bigger than this one. Okay, I'm going to repair this and sell it. Back to the shop. Probably make about fifty or sixty thousand pounds. You know what? I sold the Fiat. Starting to regret that I sold the Fiat. Fiat seems faster than this one. And this one is two hundred and thirty-eight brake horsepower. I think it is. The other one was only one hundred and eighty-five. Someone finish there. Okay. Can I was probably the massive, probably the massive finished. So, guys, I'm gonna sell these and find out who's finished working. Uh, see you guys later.
present now is my past So lost in a familiar place While everybody's moving on And I try to keep up with the pace But I don't know what's going on And it feels like I'm running backwards all the time It feels like I am being left behind Everybody seems to know Where they are going to I don't know if I should leave or stay If I am already on my way But it feels like I'm running backwards all the time It feels like I am being left behind It feels like I'm running backwards all the time And it feels like I am being left behind I do my best trying to make sense Baby, you're my past and future tense When I'm lost on the open sea You're the wave that will carry me And I see it Uh, 
this is our fifth lorry and this is our newest machine on the, on the farm so doing quite well spreading the, the digest here obviously this one's replaced the other small John Deere Both the John Deere and the Fiat served the purpose at the beginning of the farm. Especially the Fiat. The Fiat was a good tractor, it still is a good tractor. I won't hesitate in using that again. Uh, talking about a John Deere that we just sold, I will use the same engine size or the same brake horsepower size, but I won't use the four-wheel drive, I'll use the two-wheel drive because it's easy to steer and it's got exactly the same power. Obviously it doesn't deliver the power the same way because it's a two-wheel drive but in flat ground like this that doesn't doesn't impact much on the kind of work they will be doing. So the tractors for the beginning of, uh, of a series like when you start from scratch. They are tractors that cheap to buy, cheap to run and they can uh, put a small plow behind them to do the job, a small planter even a set of uh, mowers they're quite good for that as well so at the end of the day that's what we need them for then when we get to the big machines they need that's when we get the farm gets bigger we get bigger implements like sewing machines planting machines bigger cultivators and plows <coughs> so that's when we get to the big boys like we are getting into it now uh, we're gonna crack on as we are at the moment uh, new machine wise I'm not sure if I'm gonna buy anything if I will, will buy something we'll be swapping that sewing machine let's get into it where is it this sewing machine uh, we had this since the beginning as well uh, we swap it for a 15 meter one or 14 meter one from Amazon Amazon uh, machines is he's quite a good machine and he doesn't need as much brake horsepower as this one actually and he's uh, bigger uh, show you guys if I can find it I looked at it earlier this is it Amazon Condor 1500 uh, 1000 no 15,001 and we only need 207 brake horsepower for this and he's a uh, 11 mile an hour 50 meters compared to this one is a 207 brake horsepower 9 meters 11 mile an hour as well so uh, it's a no-brainer when it comes to it money wise 104 is 120,000 pounds cheaper than the other one but it does nearly enough off the it's half of the size obviously I would like to get something bigger something like this hair hole drill is 23 meters need a hair cart for it as well for the fertilize actually this hair hole drill you can use it as a drill on his own but we don't have such powerful machines for it now our tractors are less than that they're 450 something brake horsepower maximum we got now uh, if I want to get over to uh, anything above 500 brake horsepower on a John Deere I, got it. I need to go into the tract vehicles um, so let's go large tractors so I need to go into something like so this is the 8RT this only gives me about 452 brake horsepower we get the fan vario but obviously I want to stay this this guy fan vario give us 517 
brake horsepower, <coughs> but I want to stay on a John Deere side of things. The only one is the 9RT. Uh, for some reason, before I tried to get this with more than 400, I know you can go go up to 600 and something brake horsepower, but for some reason, I cannot get it. Oh, 570 brake horsepower. It's not bad. It's good enough. If some re I know it goes up over over 600 brake horsepower. Must be some mod I done or update I done that is not letting me go f any uh, further than that. But as you guys can see, he's uh, gonna be an expensive machine. Don't need numbers. Three point each, yes, because we got some of our machines got three point each. U.S. version. What's the difference? Oh, EU, U.S. There's no point of spending four thousand pounds for that, just to have signs on it. Standard tracks. Yeah, that's definitely a uh, yes. Three thousand kilos white tracks. Is it 36? Yeah, 3000 kilo weights on it, so they're a bit wider. Configuration standard 2000, yes, we need the front weight. So we're looking at 511,000 pounds or something like that. <laughs> a lot of money. Let's, ca let's carry on working because uh, we don't have that sort of money. It's just a dream. And mind me, I don't even know if I can use the, those big drills in a, in this map. It's got loads of trees around. So a lot of headlands to be done and stuff like that. Alright, so let's go into another time lapse and go around the machine and see how they do it. field as well uh, probably will be our next target just gonna see how much it is Oops. There it's in in one million one hundred and twenty eight pounds yep so that's our next target field number three is another option uh, I'll probably end up buying this free down here as well but for now our target is this one one million one hundred and twenty eight thousand so for now gotta make do with
this guy. Yep, that's what we're going to use it for. £35,000. Let's see if we can take it with the gator because I brought the gator thinking about that. I'm not sure if I can use it. With a bit of luck. This gator machine is phenomenal. Look at that. It's not even. He <laughs> doesn't care. But the back wheel is lifting. It's not. Look at that. This, this machine is amazing. You know the 12 meter plow we got? I think you. If you've been following uh, my videos, I think you saw me using that with a gator. It's amazing. This machine is amazing. <coughs> the only downside is, uh, if you crash and it gets upside down, uh, you need the front loader to, <laughs> to turn it back onto his wheels. Apart from that, it's brilliant fast and efficient. Alright, let's spend some money filling this up. And on the next episode, uh, we may be selling some of the chickens. Maybe, maybe, I'm not saying we will. Oh look, we are inside it. Slurry digest. Right, so let's swap it because we got the mass in there doing nothing. So you can start spreading on field seven. There's enough space in here for this too. Yeah, look at that. Plenty of space. Right, let's get the mass in. Good lord, it's 20 to 7 in the afternoon, in-game time. It's getting late, and dark. And I don't think I've got lights in this one, no I don't. I may have to buy some lights and put them in. Right, let's get the little Massey to... Actually, these little is the smallest one of them uh, on the farm now. Let's get a field servant, spread it, beat, <coughs> digest. And it can be cultivated. I don't think it needs. I'll check it out. See if it needs uh, lime. I don't think it does. Yeah, it's working. Uh, it doesn't need lime. Yeah, it doesn't need lime, so we can use the cultivator on that. <coughs> We've got another bale coming up. The combine's back. Four bales for this small. Field. Not bad. It's probably not as small as I think it is. Okay. Stay with it. Harvest it for now. guys and with this come to an end of another episode and I'll see you guys next time thanks for watching bye bye